all right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now here's a video that i came across earlier today and i found it interesting that i wanted to share it with you guys now the video deals with david david miranda aka good guy audits and i'm gonna take a good guess that most of us if not all of us are fully aware of david because david has a uh, very screwed up mentality and um, method of operation uh, of screwing with nypd and um again i say we are all pretty much fully aware of him now in this video here i'm trying to uh, show you guys that uh how petty this guy is that his whole intentions of going out there is to stir problems up in order to make a video now i think we are all well aware that all frauditors uh, uh everything they do is nothing but to go stir shit up so that they can make a video and make a day's pay out of it okay but uh, watching this video like i said damn it the video speaks for itself the uh, david is in uh, the grand central terminal uh grand central station in new york if you guys are uh, anybody from new york or familiar with new york it's a big ass terminal it starts somewhere around 30th street or 32nd and it'll go for blocks it's just gigantic okay it's over by madison square garden i'm very familiar with the terminal here you have your your, uh, where you can get your buses going to various uh, states and cities and blah 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 as well as you have the train stations there too various trains it's gigantic and you have your retail stores and so on okay so again I say I found the video interesting because David has it in his head because uh, uh, the Grand Central uh, station is owned by the Port Authority which he feels uh, is public and that the public has uh, every right to go in there and do what they want to do well again in this video here he um it's just so petty the shit that he did here uh screwing with a i think it was a new jersey city transit uh employee uh they sell tickets or whatever and because the individual uh she had paperwork sitting on her desk uh you gotta you, you'll see i'll point it out it was so petty so petty and you'll hear the back and forth little argument that he uh threw at the lady that she turned around and flipped the mode on him in my opinion she roasted him okay uh, mind you also he has a habit of going up to uh, uh like uh, the clerks or whatever ro aiming a camera at them and uh, a normal person if you walk up to a clerk or whatsoever you know you're gonna get a response can i help you okay and david like the idiot that he is will just stand there looking like an idiot aiming a camera at them so i mean again i say the type of shit that he is doing is pure pettiness it's uh stupid doesn't make any sense and uh the unfortunate thing is i think david has um let his subscribers take over Okay, I don't know if you guys are going to understand what I'm saying, but um, David has grown very fast, very quick. When I first came across David, he was around 900 subscribers, and I was communicating with him on his videos. I was like, you know, hey, you're a Latino like me. Don't follow the rest of the other guys. If, you, if this is something you truly want to do and you want to make a difference, man, be yourself and, and be respectful. OK, uh, you, you, you know, I've said it to a few of them in the very beginning. You want to see uh, if you can get through their heads and maybe you find that right person that's actually doing this with good intentions. OK, um, again, I say uh, David never replied back to me again. He doesn't have to. Uh, I'm a nobody. OK, uh, but uh, what I'm trying to point out is that over a period of time, his attitude, his uh, way of um uh, frauditing or whatever he has blown up now he is at over 20,000 subscribers uh, let's just say that uh, that shit goes to your head real quick okay I don't care who you are the amount of subscribers will grow 
in your head and make you feel that you have this power. And um, if you read his comments, and I think we all like reading the comments because you get a frame of, you get you you get an ideal of how their uh, frame of mind works. And I mean, God, oh my God, there is so much hatred out there for our government, our government, our law enforcement officers. Uh, when you see these frauditors, the shit that they do, and you see people supporting it and saying right on and you're doing a good job and keep it up, bro, and blah, blah, blah. That tells me we have a lot of hatred. There's a lot of people in our world that has hatred towards our government as well as law enforcement. But that's a whole nother video. In this video here, I just want to point out that uh, he got roasted. In my opinion, got roasted. Uh, the shit that he was um, bringing up didn't have shit to do with rights. Didn't have shit to do with the so-called movement that... Um, they belong to, let's say. Let's get into the video so I can point it out and um, you'll see what I mean when I tell you this guy is truly petty and letting uh, the little bit of power that he may uh, have go to his head. Let's get into the video. Back in two minutes. It's a minute and a half of the recording. All right, so let me just jump in here real quick and make a quick comment. As we all notice, the clerk asking David, can he help him? Any normal clerk, any normal employee, let's say, uh, if you walk up to their desk or whatsoever, they're going to ask you, can I help you? Is there anything that I can do for you? But as we all know, David likes to play the idiot, the asshole, and just ignore them, okay? Uh, I don't understand this whole theory of uh, going up to somebody's desk and ignoring them, but that's the shit that David David does. Now keep this in mind because further down in the video, uh, another clerk is going to ask him as well, is there anything that I can do for you? And um, let's just say uh, David does the same shit of ignoring him and then in a matter of seconds, uh, the clerk just shuts him down and he wants to turn around and say that he was denied service. So again, the little they're like childish head games that uh, David plays doesn't make any sense. And uh, you're going to notice in a few seconds when I turn the video back on, this clerk here is going to tell him, hey, you can't be recording me, which, you know, we all know is really not right or, or exact, let's say. But uh, uh, pay attention to what David does, which shows me that David is watching other frauditors. He's watching other frauditor videos and want to do the same shit that they do, all in the name of stirring shit up. Uh, let's get back to the video. Sir, you're not allowed to take a picture. What are you doing?
He has people's receipts there. It's the Port Authority. We all know who owns the Port Authority. It has a concept of Port Authority, the PAPD, Port Authority Police. We all know how ignorant they are. They don't know anything. They don't even know that the Port Authority is public. Can I help you, sir? No. So, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's a girl recording right there. She just took a picture of that schedule. All right, so let me just jump back in here because I didn't understand this part, what he was trying to point out by stating that that lady took a picture of the schedule. But to me, what that lady did, there was a purpose behind it. Okay, she's taking a picture of a schedule of what time the buses leave and so on. There's a purpose for that. I could see and understand what that lady is doing. The shit that he's doing, just going up to clerk's windows and recording them. And then when the clerk asks them, what can I do for you? Which any normal employee would do, okay? And just stand there looking like an idiot and ignore them. Come on, is there a purpose for that shit, guys? No, right? So, I just, this guy is really an asshole. But let's get back to the video. Bridgefield, Bergen, Jersey. I don't know where those things are. Yeah, two cameras. One on him and one on us. I don't know why they keep those receipts on the open. They should close those receipts. All right, so let me just jump back in here real quick and point out what David is referring to. Uh, that um, big sheet of paper there, uh, he's calling it receipts or whatsoever, and I can only take a guess that it, uh, it's transactions between that clerk window there and the customer. Now, why is David so concerned about that? And um, that is one of the things that the individual that's going to flip the mode on him and roast his ass is going to bring up to his attention but i just wanted you guys to be aware of um what david is so concerned about a uh, freedom fighter out there fighting for people's rights is concerned that that clerk has that uh paper just laying there uh out in the open uh, let's get back to the video that's what they should do why do you keep those out in the open So you're denying me public services. I'm asking you a question.
All right. So this is what I was in reference to before when I mentioned pay attention to uh, what he's doing of going up to the windows. And when asked, what can I do for you? He ignores them. But do you notice that when uh, the frauditor now gets ignored, now all of a sudden he's crying Oh, you're denying me service. Now, isn't that some shit? You know, how many times did he go in front of that individual and the other employees and just stand in front of their window recording them? And they asked him, what can I do for you? And he would just stand there looking like an idiot that he is, uh, recording them and not say shit. But now that he wants to start up a conversation and they just don't want to deal with his ass, now all of a sudden, if you ignore him, Oh, you're denying me service. Now, isn't that some double standard bullshit? Isn't it? Yes. What are these? What is what? Why do you want to know what those are? That's the part of New Jersey Transit work. Why, what's the problem? Because if they're receipts, you shouldn't keep them out in the open where people can see them. Oh, so you film filming everything. Okay. I film everything I do. Oh, yeah. If that's people's... Why do you if that's people's private information, you shouldn't keep it where people can memorize it. Oh, okay. So you memorize it or you recorded it? I don't record people's private information. Oh, so how do you know it's private then? I just asked you. Why would you ask me that question? It doesn't concern you. That's New Jersey Transit. I could, I, I, ma'am, I could ask you whatever I want. And I can answer you the way I want to answer you, sir. I don't work for the public. You do. You're absolutely right. So you have to be courteous at all times. Being courteous at all times. Okay, I'm just asking if that's people's... I'm just asking if that's private information, you should you put it aside. Right. You shouldn't be going around recording either. I'm in public, ma'am. It doesn't matter. It's called the First okay. Amendment. We all have First Amendment. Right. I can record in any public space I want. I'm just, it's just interesting. It's the Port Authority. You should expect people to record you. And you work for the you government. Right you work for the government. I can record you all I want. It's the First Amendment. We, we have, we have the, our duty as American citizens to hold our government accountable. So, Thank you. That's it. Well, there you go. In my opinion, she put him in his place. Now, think about this. How the hell do you put this New Jersey transit clerk who sells tickets, tickets to people who are boarding a bus going to a uh, location, how do you categorize her as a government employee? How the hell do you say that you're holding her accountable uh, and, and that's going to benefit anybody in their rights or whatsoever. You can't, right? You truly can't. How his subscribers uh, commented, wow, you did a good job, bro. Uh, right on, Patriot. And all that other bullshit that they wrote. That just tells me, again, I say, there is truly a lot of people out there with hatred uh, in their hearts. And, and for the wrong reasons, they support assholes like David Miranda. Now, okay, he's done getting put in his place, whether he sees it that way or not. I do. Now, now he decides to go screw with Port Authority police and he ended the video in a peculiar way so it is what it is guys but let me know your thoughts on the video guys and I will see you in my next video God bless you she said I'm already blessed that's what's up You said I can answer you however I want. Uh, not really. The police. Let's go check out the Port Authority police. Help. You 
need medical attention or anything? You need an ambulance? Sorry? Are you high? Are you? Are you? No, I'm asking if you need medical attention. You're at a police station. We're here to help. You want an ambulance? Do you need an ambulance? I Do you need one. an ambulance? For what? I can get you one. Okay, that for me. Okay. Why are you are you experiencing a mental breakdown? Yep. Okay. You shouldn't be on duty then. Have a good night. You can crack out and go home.